I've had some requests asking about the different cookware that I use here on the homestead. And there are several different kinds. And we're going to kind of go over them. And the first thing I want to go over is my cast iron. Now this isn't all my cast iron, but this is pretty much what I would use on daily basis. Yeah, yeah you use about all of it at least once a week. And uh, Some of it every day. So most of it right here gets washed every day and then gets uh, seasoned every day. So I just want to quickly go over that with you. Now, I'm not talking about storage. I'm not, we're not going to be talking about storing your cast iron. This is just everyday use, everyday cleaning, and everyday uh, oil in your cast iron to keep it from rusting. So mainly what we would use would be uh, baking grease, lard, peanut oil, coconut oil, uh, grapeseed oil, if you have some. We don't use, we don't even use vegetable oil or canola oil in cooking, so that's not an option for us. But, you can see what I've got here, and if y'all are some of my older subscribers, you've probably seen me cook with all this, especially in my big 15-inch cast iron skillet. This is a 15-inch, this is a 12-inch, this is my 10-inch, and I've had this one here for many, many years. This right here is a five quart um, or four quart Dutch oven. This right here is a lid to this Dutch oven, but you can also use it as a, a, a pan to put, maybe cook cornbread or anything like that in it. But what I've done is I've washed it a while ago in warm water. I don't use any kind of soap. Um, so it's just warm water. You don't want real hot water. You just want warm water. Um, you don't even have to use a scrubber with it because a lot of times I don't know if that would actually rub some of the... It just depends on what you've got stuck on the bottom. You could actually use a soft plastic uh, like a... I've got a... Scraper. Scraper like this. And if you look on Amazon, Amazon has these scrapers for the lodge cast iron skillets. So, you know, once I put some warm water in it, if there's something, you know, sticking on it, I just take my scraper and I just scrape it off like this. Get around the edges and stuff. But you don't want to use anything too... Too hard. Too harsh on it. Now, I'm going to give a disclaimer right here. Uh, we're not professionals <laughs> at um, cast iron. Cast iron. Um, we're not professionals at anything. But we're. <laughs> I thought we were jack of all trades. Though. We are. I am a jack of <laughs> we, all trades. We're Definitely. Not, we're not professionals at restoring cast iron, and we're not professionals at uh, storing for storage. You know, I've got some Dutch ovens that's, you know, been put up all winter, but we're not professionals at any of this. We just know what we do here on the homestead, and we've done it for many years, and it works for us. So what works for you, do it. Yeah. Um, I've got a griddle over here. It's a cast iron griddle. This thing doesn't get used very often, but I love this griddle. One thing you might point out about wiping the oil down, and you're using the cotton cloth. Yes. Paper towel, you don't want nothing that's going to leave uh, lint. Lint, yeah. Because you'll get a lint buildup inside there as it uh, does its seasoning. So a cloth like that, just a cotton cloth. That doesn't Your work. husband's old t-shirt you're going to throw away. Yeah. A handkerchief. A handkerchief would work. This griddle, I mean, it's a nice one, too, and I really don't know how old it is. I got it at a flea market back when we was living on the big farm when the kids were going. But uh, <clears throat> it does have some a little bit of buildup around the edge and even on top from me not using it very much. But what I've learned is that if you take some coarse sea salt and just go around the edges and just really scrub that down with your 
that sea salt, it's a, it'll be like a abrasive on it. And you may have to do it several times. Then wash it with warm water and maybe do it again until you get that stickiness off. But for that to get sticky, that was my fault because I put it, well, actually it was down under the oven in the- The old oven. In the, uh, and I just hadn't got it. It's it. sticky, it's not rancid. No. It's but it's a little sticky. bit sticky. So I'll have to really work that, on this one. That, that happened over time. So anyways, warm water, no soap, uh, just it's, a little. It's good if you have time to heat it up after you wash it, to heat it up and let it dry out. Well, you can take a take your towel and dry your cast iron, top and bottom. And put it over here on your stove and turn your stove on low and then let it really dry really good. And it don't have to be super hot. Just get warm enough to make... You, water is cast iron's worst enemy. So you want to get it as dry as you can get it. And it don't take very long to, to do that. And once you... If you'll feel that right here at the edge of your cast iron skillet, feel right here. If you can feel that it's hot, turn it off. That means it's gotten hot enough. And uh, turn it off and uh, oil it. Don't just douse it with oil. No, it don't take very little. Just a little bit of oil and, and rub it even on the sides. Rub it on the bottoms and everywhere. And just, you know, rub it till it's shiny but not just no. full of oil. You don't want that. So is there anything else? When one gets seasoned really good like this one is, it's just smooth, it's just as it smooth is. as it can be in there. And that's, an, that's a good indication. The smoother that gets, the more seasoned you, you are. And I think from my experience, because I've had this since the big farm too, since we lived over there in Kisergan, this one right here. And we don't know how old it was when you bought it. No. It wasn't new. Um, from my experience though, the more you use cast iron and you take care of it like you're supposed to, this is what it'll end up right here. The more you use it instead of storing it. There's actually ways that you can actually, as time goes on, it gets a little rough. You can actually sand that and then start redoing it again. But this pan here is really, really seasoned well. And this one is seasoned. Oh yeah. Really well. There's a lot of people that have <laughs> Some of my subscribers that just love this. That's just as smooth as. And like I said, silk. this is a 15 inch, so. Uh, you cook a lot in that. Yeah, we cook Valentine. That Valentine's tenderloin was cooked. Well, when that. the kids come over and they want fried potatoes, which we ain't done in a long time. Got that right. That cooks a bunch. We've got this one right here that Mr. Brown bought me. I don't know how long it's been. It's Three, a four months. It's a blue diamond. It's an, uh, what does that say? Enameled? Enhanced ceramic nonstick. It's supposed to be non-toxic, a non-toxic ceramic. It comes from Walmart, so you can be your own guess on that. It's about a $25 skillet. Uh, if you're on a, on a budget, this skillet right here, I mean, you, you can pick up cast arm less than that at times, but... Uh, I love this skillet. It's a really a good non. It's a good skillet. You, for, cook, you can cook for, what, for fried, what it is. Fried eggs in there like nothing. Oh yeah, you put just a little bit of bacon grease in there, and egg won't stick to it. And I've got stainless steel that I use too. I don't use it as much as I do uh, all my other. And I've got a bunch of stainless steel uh, pots, my little pots that I cook in. This is a Cuisinart, and I want to tell y'all where I got this. No, it looks rough on the bottom. This thing's kind of heavy. Yeah. I got this at a flea market for thirty dollars. At your flea market shopping. <laughs> Three dollars for a Cuisinart stainless steel pan. I think that's a ten inch. Now, this cookware here is new. I want to talk a little bit about it. This is from the Companion Company. And it's called De La Terre. De La Terre. <laughs> and I it's know French, I, isn't it? 
I know Day I'm Latour. not. I'm not saying that right, but it's all that this country girl can do to even say cook with. Day <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? It does. You're really good at that. Isn't isn't this pretty? It is. I love the colors. It's a deep. I mean, it is beautiful. Deep blue color. Day la terre means from the earth. And I think I may have talked about this in one of my other videos. Not much, but uh, this is a baking pan, and I haven't used it yet, but I can't wait till I can use it. And it's not a 9 by 13. It's like a 9 by 11 and a half. So I don't, I don't know. Did you measure it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is their 10-inch skillet, and I love this thing. You've cooked a lot in that. You've, you you've, can cook anything in this thing. And it's got this big white handle. And, I mean, it's heavy, but not so heavy that it hurts your wrist or anything. But this cookware, you get up to 700 degrees. Now, you can actually cook inside a grill with that. Yeah, you can cook outside with it. You stick it in your oven. There is, uh, you'd have to read up on it, but there is some caution about what kind of stove was the, the, the convection type stove. Uh, well, you can it's use like it on the, there, but the glass top. Yeah. Uh, but this is, it's clay. You can see that it's clay, but it's coated with a, uh, a non-toxic, non-chemical ceramic. ceramic is what it's coated with. So it does an excellent, I'm telling you, when you heat this up, the heat is so even. This is, this is what they're trying to uh, take the place of cast on. Uh, that's kind of what it's about. And but, well, they it's think not it's, as heavy. They think it's healthier for you. I think it's healthier. It's not as heavy. This is a six-quart Dutch oven, and you can see how much that would hold. Hold, hold plenty. Yes. And, it, and it's compared to cast iron flight. It is. And, and it it's cooks. supposed to be tough. It cooks really well. You can put a chicken in there and roast it or... A roast and potatoes and you carrots. You cook bread in there. You cook bread in there. You can make a big old pot of chili. Ooh. Don't that sound good? Yes, it does. We ain't had no supper yet. <laughs> Probably won't either. Let's see. Is there anything else? Oh. Uh, Am I leaving anything out? We were not going to make this video very long. Well, why not? We mess up. <laughs> But I'm sure I could go on and on and on about uh, my different cookwares. But this is my main cookware right here. She's just been experimenting. This was, you know, sent for her to try out. And uh, she has done a lot of cooking in this pan and really likes it. And I'll leave the link below. And she's going to do some more cooking in this right here. Yes, and, I am. Uh, we just haven't done a full demo of it because she hadn't, she wants, she's one of them people that wants to try it out and make sure it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I did. I know. You, you've tried the pan. Have you cooked in this? Yes. Okay. I just haven't cooked in this one yet. I haven't cooked in this I'm one. thinking about doing some lasagna in this one. Yes. I make my lasagna recipe. Tonight? Tonight. Oh, no. We ain't got time. Anyways, like I said, we had people asking about the cast iron and how we take care of it. There's so many different um, opinions out there on how to take care of your cast iron. This is the way, you know, I was brought up with cast iron. You were brought up with cast iron. Um, One of the things that, you know, if you're just keeping it in the kitchen, you can you can keep it in your oven. It's not a bad place to keep it. Needs it needs to stay dry. You don't need to stack them. And you don't need it to stack to them. We have wood heat, so we have a lot of dry heat, and, it, and you know, it, it does a good job. She hangs a lot of hers here and there. Now, uh, um, I'm going to leave a link below, too. There is actually, from Amazon, has a cast iron stacker for skillets. Mm -hmm. and you'll start with your bigger one and work your way up, and it, that way it spaces them out, and it's heavy duty. Yeah. And so it gets air through there. Right. So I'll leave that link below, and there'll be some links down there for different cast iron, if anybody's interested in them. If this one's going to sit for a week or so, you could take and put... Just, you know, just don't put the lid on it tight. No. You can just set it sideways on it. If you're going to put the lid on there for it to, for it to set up, you know, if you're not going to use it for a week or so, take you a piece of cardboard or something. Just so it can get air inside. Right here on this edge, right here on this edge, put your lid on it so that your lid kind of, kind of sets up where it can get air in there. Don't store them around your sink, any kind of water, anything that you might splash on them. Uh, just keep them uh, one of your... 
driest places in the house? Well, you? I can tell you back in the day, they didn't have coconut oil. They didn't have grapeseed oil. I mean, mm-hmm. that I, you know, my family. So it was either lard or it was bacon grease. Bacon grease but they were used every day. Well, yeah, most usually. I mean, so. And, and to, in my opinion, lard or bacon grease is the best that you can use to season one with. And there's some people out there saying they don't. Um, I had a comment, somebody tell me that cast iron was not good for you to use. Um, I'm sure there's maybe a little truth to that, but... But look at all the people that's been using Teflon. This has, <laughs> this has been... We can't even go there tonight. We don't have no <laughs> Teflon. Um, cast iron's been used for hundreds of years. Yeah, I mean... Now, I'm not going to say that maybe there's somebody that can't use it because they can't... You're going to get some iron from you it. You can't tolerate more iron in your system. And as we get older, we don't you don't get rid of iron and normally I believe. But uh we have all that stuff checked every so often. But uh Well, you know, um I want my cornbread in an iron skillet. <laughs> of course. And you want your fried cornbread in that. And I want my you fried want your, potatoes. And, and, your, uh, and your fried chicken and And I haven't had that in a while, have I? I know. And I even make apple pies in here. I'm like an apple pie in the skillet. One thing you don't, you've talked about it is acidity. You don't, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. You can put tomatoes in this pot and you can cook with it. But that tends to probably bring more iron out in your, in well, your food. Well, yeah, and I know a lot of people do. Um, I guess in my experience, yes, you can. It seemed like I could taste the iron yeah, in well, the yeah. tomato sauce. It just, uh. You can do it, but it w- it wouldn't be something. I, I think it's it's a little harder on your your seal and your yeah, because the acidity in there. Because of the acidity. But um, when you take something like this, I believe like you're cooking your chili with your tomato stuff would be just fine. Yeah, these things are great. I'm telling you, I'm really proud of them, and I'll probably get me some more. De la terre. De la terre from the yeah. earth. You're from the earth. Yes, I think that's really. I'm beautiful. impressed with these. <laughs> I think that's really beautiful. I love this stuff. I love looking for old cast iron, and we found some we found some decent buys on some older style cast iron. Yeah, we've got. Uh, I should have brought that over here. I didn't. Was our waffle iron? Waffle iron we found. It's a Wagner, right? It's a Wagner waffle. It's iron. an old one too. Made to cook on top of the wood cook stove. Yeah. It's uh, when we've made waffles with yeah. it. Yeah. And it works. So, anyways, we just wanted to touch base with y'all on. What y'all had been asking me for you, y'all about my cast iron, how I take care of it, because y'all know I use it every day, and just the different things that I use. So, you know, back in the day, we never really thought about it. We did use Teflon because they really pushed it on people. Oh, and, it's nonstick. Ugh. But in your grandma's day, they used aluminum pots and pans and even yeah. aluminum cups. You remember the picture, the aluminum pitcher and mm-hmm. cups, and it kept stuff so cold. So we don't have none of that either. <laughs> I did have an aluminum pan, and I got rid of it. It went out. So anyways. Well, you get wiser, and you get, <clears throat> you know, there are some things you can afford and some things you can't. Uh, like I say, that's that's the budget pan over there, in my opinion, right now. I mean, This I one here? We've had it for three or four or five months, and... I'll look it up on Amazon and see if they sell it there. If they do, I'll put a link for it. But Walmart has them. Walmart does have them. It's Blue Diamond. <clears throat> Enhanced. And I mean, it's not super cheap. I mean, I think that was $25, $27. Yeah, but it's worth all that. And you know, you can... Uh, I bought one for work, one the size smaller than that one. You can put this in the dishwasher. You can go from your stove to your oven with it. Yeah. Real easy because of the handle. And I like that. Yeah. You can do this one, the stainless steel that way too, and you can do these too. They can go from the top of your stove into the oven. Yes. I, I love these. I, I'm thinking. I, I just can't get over how they look. I think I want another sauce, another skillet. I mean, the bottom has the uh, heat ridges in the bottom of it. So, next time I cook something like a roaster or just anything i am gonna start using these so y'all see how they work really well but anyways we need to wrap this up
We do. Mm-hmm. Don't you love talking to people? I do. I really do. But everybody out there in the video land, <laughs> they're probably a they're probably getting tired of us, ain't they? Yeah, but um, this is it. That's how we take care of it. Um, there's so many videos out there showing you how to Do restore that, and oh yeah, there's and store your cast iron. So there's you just, a lot of them out a lot there. of them out there. This is just how these old country people take care of their cast iron. So, it's always worked. Really. And it's always worked. So, anyways, I hope y'all liked this video. It was good being with y'all and talking with you and. Uh, Get you if you've never cooked in cast iron. Don't be intimidated by it. It's a good thing to have, and you'll mm -hmm. love it. They do have um, cast iron. Amazon has them. You can go to Lodge. You can go to Lehman's. Um, there's just a lot of different companies that have cast iron. And I want to say one thing to all the people out there that's commenting. It has become increasingly tough. <laughs> Increasingly, did I say it right? Increasing. And no. I can't even talk. It's there, my tongue has got over my <laughs> eye teeth, and I can't see what I'm saying. I don't know what you're saying. What are you saying? It's it's harder to comment on every comment. Oh. We do try, but don't think they don't get read. Just because there's not a comment under them, they get read. I read every single one of them, and she does too. And we love every one of them. I love. We love it. If for some reason we don't get back with you, um, just emails <laughs> or, or just any comment or anything, it's not because we haven't tried or because we didn't see it. We usually try to comment on it, but it's it's been great. Oh, I love it. It's been so. You love it. I do. I love it. It's uh, time consuming. It's time consuming, but still. And we don't have a lot of time, do we? No, but I still want them to comment. I know you do. Because I like talking to them. I like reading them. <laughs> he'll, he'll Sometimes sit there. they're about me. Yeah. <laughs> he'll sit there and read them to me while I'm busy. But anyways, we're going to let y'all go. I hope y'all learned a little bit out of this. And I'm going to be putting a bunch of links below on different items and um, just different things. So I hope y'all like this video. We love y'all and God bless everybody.